Hey guys and girls, it's Nathan Birch here from beinvestor.com.au and today I'm talking about whether you should pay off your mortgage or pay down your mortgage should I say or put the money towards the next deposit and just in brief like there's two ways that we can go on that depends whether you want to buy more properties or whether you want to pay off your mortgage and have no debt and the uh, there's no right or wrong uh, for me personally I'll explain to you the differences um, probably the best way to explain it is to introduce myself in two different ways I can sit here and say hi I'm Nathan Birch I bought a property back in 2003 and uh, it's 2014 now and I just paid off my house in seven years and I bought a second property so I own a property that I bought for 248,000 uh, and now I own it outright it brings me 550 bucks a week rent and I've just bought myself a second property um, which has got $50,000 worth of debt on it and it brings in me 300 bucks a week and you know life's pretty good I still work at my job but you know things are good for me that's one option the other option is that I can sit here and say hi I'm Nathan Birch I have I don't even know how many properties 150 properties my properties that I've bought you know for 248,000 worth 450,000 you know it returns X amount of dollars it's positive cash flow I've bought another 150 odd properties after that because I leverage my money and that's the real simple answer to it um, the reality of it is is that a lot of people will go and um, you know if you're gonna pay twenty thousand dollars off on your mortgage this year at five percent uh, interest that is five percent of twenty thousand is a thousand dollars you're gonna save this year now you can save a thousand dollars on your mortgage that's cool however if it doesn't really bother you that much and you know you don't need to save that thousand dollars because you obviously save 20 grand and you can pay that off your mortgage if you use that as a deposit for another property I'm just going to make up a scenario here pretend it's 30,000 and that's fifteen hundred dollars same sort of numbers let's say for instance you go and purchase a property for two hundred thousand dollars which in the next year goes up by 10% whatever or $20,000 in growth and you bought it $20,000 below market value because you're friggin awesome like me and let's say for instance in that next 12 months you make 40 grand, 40 grand in growth let's say for instance that property could give you a thousand dollars per year or 20 bucks per week positive cash flow it could be a positive cash flow property it puts a thousand dollars in your pocket it just depends how you look at the numbers they're all just numbers it doesn't matter if it's you know how it sits personally as I said at the start of this film I could sit here and say I have two properties or three properties it's nice comfortable life's all right all that sort of stuff or I can sit here saying you know I've got 150 properties not being cocky about it I'm just saying I could sit here and say I've got 150 properties you know property portfolio worth 25 mil debt on it 10 mil passive income stream 500 700 whatever the figure is at the moment uh, of passive income um, you know the difference was because I took that approach and not paying the mortgage off but you know I understand other people are more conservative or, or whatnot and it all depends what you're most comfortable with if you're gonna buy a property lose sleep over it get stressed out don't buy it if you can see there's a path that you want to take and you want to increase your wealth and be able to increase your asset base base base, base then that's an option I would always go with building that portfolio don't get me wrong there will be a point where I say you know I don't want to have any debt I might pay down some rent but the fact of it is is that if you build up a big enough passive income stream 50 grand 100 grand 200 grand 500 grand whatever it is is to say you build a passive income stream of 100k per annum you could pay your mortgages down at 100k per annum and then as you're paying the mortgages down by 100 grand per annum when you say that is the day this is the day that I hang up the boots and I don't do it anymore that 100 grand per annum as that's saving you 5% per annum that's five grand a year extra cash flow so next year your cash flow will be a hundred grand plus 5k 
and it'll just continue to go and your debt will come down. And I think the most important thing is that you've got a solid foundation property portfolio that'll help you, you know, achieve the dreams and goals of what you're trying to do. So thanks a lot for watching. My two cents, as once again, as always, not financial advice. Do your own research, make sure you're happy, make sure you're comfortable, make sure it's in line with what you're doing. Catch up soon. Thanks again for watching.